Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of Easy Database with Unity. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to host our database on a real server online so that we can access it with any phone or any computer that is running our game and has access to the internet. Here are the steps. First, we want to create an account on a free hosting website. Uh, I found one after some Googling. But if you find the one that you like or you would like to pay for some other service, the steps should be very, very similar. The second step is to export the database from our local host. Then we want to create a database on the online server that we just applied for in our domain. Then we are going to import the database. We need to modify some PHP files, the PHP files we already had. We have to set the server variables because before we had the local host variables. Now we want to have a connection to a real server. And then we want to upload those PHP files to our domain so that we can actually access it from anywhere with internet. And finally, we will test in Unity and we should be done. So let's get started. First, let's go to this website. I just found, I was finding in Google, like free website, free web host. Uh, so let's try this one. Uh, first of all, go and sign up for free. I already signed up, so I'm not gonna do it again, but just fill in this information and you can type, just type a name for your dom domain. I typed something like uh, YouTube game or something like that. And then if you have your own domain, then you can use it. Uh, but I think maybe this will be more common and because we're just testing, don't waste your own domain doing it. And I'm not a robot and go, go make it. I already made mine, so I'm going to log in. Okay. So once you registered and verified your email, then you can log in and you will see something like this. And you have to wait until your status says active. So it may take a while, but after it's active, you can go to C panel or control panel. And here you'll see we have a lot of lots of options. The ones we are interested in are two. First one is uh, database, and the other one is files. In files, you want to upload your PHP files that will control the behavior of our database. And in database, we want to import our old database. So the first step we need to do before everything else is going to localhost. Go to PHP my admin. Well, I, I had to format my computer, so I had some problems, but I make my a new database. It's basically the same. I just called it cool IT RPG new. And we want to export this. So we export and we don't need to make any template, but we need to select custom because for some reasons that I will tell you later, we need to export each table of our database separately. So let's press custom and um, okay, here. Export tables as separate files. So it's just here in output, go to the bottom and press go. So we have this file and I'm just gonna copy this. And we're just gonna keep them here for now. Later, I will show you how to import them back. So actually, this is already good enough to make a backup of your tables, of your database. If you would like to do a backup or if you just would like to export your database, you can do it in this way. You can do if you do a quick export, it's only going to export one file with the whole database. And you can do that. But for this specific situation, we want to separate in files. So now that we have export our database, we want to go back to the 000 web host that we registered a, uh, a while ago. And we want to go to MySQL because we would like to create a new database. I already created one, which I was testing with, um, but I'm going to create one again to show you how it's done. So this here, this part of the name, we cannot change it. That's our username in the in this web host. And I think if you want to get rid of it, you have to pay money or something like that. But for now, we don't need to do that. Um, yeah. If you want to pay money, I recommend you search more for a for a host that is more suitable for you. Okay. So 
we get this and we just add a name so I'm just gonna make a test to be user one two three q dub e one two three q oop, create database and here you go you see I got a new database down here so now we go back now we created a database and what we want to do now is import the tables we exported from our database into this new database so enter the one we just created so here you see no tables found and the reason I exported each table is because I want to we already have this database created so here we can only import tables so that's what we're gonna do now and the only thing we need to check is this this is UTF-8 which is just the character set and we choose a file so I'm going to go to the desktop DB and we have the files here we just need to import items and uses we can ignore extra and we can ignore the database so I'm gonna import I'm gonna import um, items go and here you see import has been successfully finished two queries executed and now we're going to do we're going to do it again but for uses open go great and as you see now on the left we have items with our tape uh, our columns that we created before and we have uses with the columns we've created before and if we browse we can actually see the test email and all the items you might have uh, I had to do it again so I just made two items if there's any if there's some changes in my database I'm sorry that's because my database broke my computer broke and I tried to do it again so yeah so that's great now we have our database hosted in a server and actually if we had the PHP files set to work with this database we could actually get it from anywhere with access to internet so and for some reason mm, what is this oh two these two means that there's two tables okay <laughs> yeah I thought for some reason it changed the name we had a copy in it I don't know but yeah there's two tables inside so anyways let's go back to our control panel here go back now the only thing left we have to do is place our PHP files where which are in the HDDocs folder of XAMPP we have to export and not export them but we have to upload it here in file manager but before that we need to edit them because now we cannot every time we edit them we have to edit them in our computer and then re-upload it so let's edit them first okay so we have the three php files that we have created insert user items data and login and we want to open them okay so now we have the files we want to edit but we need to change the name of the database and we need to change the name of the server and the username etc because we are not doing it in localhost anymore but we are doing it in our new web host so for getting that information we need to go to in database we need to go to mysql and here mysql database mysql user and the host this is the information we need to apply in our files so first of all mysql database this is the database name we're going to paste it in here the db name and i'm going to do it for all files at once okay the second thing is the user let's paste that in here where we had root before so just paste it there the mysql host is this one so let's copy this in here where we used to have localhost and the password the password is not shown here but is what we entered here so i hope you guys remember that otherwise you will have to update your password um mine was 123qwe so i'm just going to type that here 123qwe 123qwe 
1.23 PWE. And let's save all of that. And now we should be able to connect to this database that we just created and we just imported. So everything should be almost set. Now the only thing left to do is upload these files into the web. We need to upload it into our server so we can actually access them and use them. So here I have these three files and if we go back here in the control panel, we go down here to file managers and we can choose any of them. I would just find use the first one. An error has occurred. Um, I think I typed my password wrong. Let's go to file manager to Maybe it's just a better option. Okay, this is actually just like a folder hierarchy and we can upload files here. But before we upload here, you, if you realize there is something called do not upload here, so we better not upload here. We go to public.html and here we have a default.php. Now we can upload files here. Now if we press upload, choose file, we go to desktop and I have the cool YT RPG. I find my PHP files. We're going to upload only one at a time. I upload and hit OK. And I have insert user. Then uh, let's upload all the files. Great, so now we have all our scripts into our public folder. If you want, you could create a new directory and you could upload it in there so it's more tidy, but right now I won't care about that at this moment. So um, now we actually uploaded our PHP files. We're almost done. What we have now, uh, now what we do is go back to the control panel and up here you have we have our domain youtube underscore game dot com dot com i go here you see this is the the url here's where we upload our files so we're going to copy this url this url is the url we were using for our c sharp script here so let's go to our unit project we have the login script I'm just gonna open this and if you remember before our URL for the web form and the web request were localhost and we have the cool YT RPG and then login PHP but right now because we upload the file directly into into the public folder we just paste the domain and then login.php so now we should be able to actually try this and I'm very excited because <laughs> I don't often do this let's check our database here I want to see the users because I just create random users um, so for example we have this test email and the password is one two three four five six so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm going to try it here in unity so how we tried before we just drag the log in here and we have an username which is test now this is not the username this is the email we need the username which is test ac so test account and then we input the password one two three four five six now we can try this i forgot what is the key we need to press l for login so we go here we press let's take a look at the console we press l and nothing here. Okay, login success. Nice. Oh my god. Yes. And this. Okay. And what is this? Android SDK. Yeah. Go home, AVG. You're drunk. Yeah. Sometimes your antivirus becomes the virus. Yeah. Then don't worry about that. Okay. So, um, we have a login success, and that's beautiful because we did it on the first try, <laughs> and. Yeah, so to summarize quickly what we did is we imported the database from our 
localhost into this that this is the account we created here we have uh, we created the PHP my admin here then we uploaded our PHP files here and then we could run the script again from unity just by changing the variables that are the server name the server username etc etc so that's great we have our online database now you can actually build this for android and you can try it on android or ios or any other computer with access to the internet so guys i hope you enjoyed the video as much as i did while making it and i'm sorry for not posting in so long but more videos are coming soon i think i'm going to start making some other videos because i think we have plenty of content already for uh, easy database so maybe in the future we're going to make another series called advanced database where we're going to talk about security and other things like that but for now i think maybe this video or the next video will be the last video for this series uh, but don't worry we'll keep learning about database in the future thank you very much for all your support i realized that i already have more than a thousand subscribers and actually that made me very happy uh so i just want to thank you all for sticking up with me i know sometimes i don't upload videos for a long time but yeah i hope you keep supporting me and i will see you next time thank you very much guys goodbye peace